Hi guys, good morning. In this video I will talk about the Brian May guitar wiring and how most of you are wrong regarding which pickup is the reverse wound and reverse polarity one. I will prove it to you first by playing a clip of the rig rundown. Brian May talking about his guitar himself. So let's watch it. I mean, for instance, I changed the polarity of these pickups so that these two would humbuck when they were in the position that I usually use, when they're in series, in phase. And I raised it so that when these two were out of phase, they humbuck, which is something pretty unusual. But that's because I use them out of phase a lot, like in the Bohemian Rhapsody solo. So these humbuck in that position. So that entailed turning, I forget which one, turning one of these upside down and changing the polarity. Um, apart from that, you know, there's been so... Okay, you heard it guys. So let me back up and uh, explain pickup polarity a little bit. Inside the pickup there's a magnet and it has north and the south. In uh, 1954 when the Fender Stratocaster was introduced, they had three identical pickups in the bridge, in the middle, and in the neck. They had a three-way position selector so you can only select one of these pickups each one of those three pickups made noise and then at some point people started figuring out that you can jam the pickup selector switch in between those positions and get a really cool quacky sound Jimi Hendrix for example used that and then it only took 20 something years for Fender to finally realize that people have been doing that for so long and they in the 70s they gave them a five-way position switch where you can select this pickup these pickups this pickup these pickups and that pickup and they also reversed the polarity of the middle pickup by flipping the magnet and flipping the coils what this gave guitar players is that Position two and position four would be hum free because plus and minus, minus and plus cancel the hum, and also here minus and plus, plus and minus cancel the hum. And this has been the standard setup for uh, Fender Stratocasters for how, if you have real true single coil pickups. Now, for example, uh, I know that David Gilmore has a mod on his guitar where you can select outer pickups as well on the guitar. If you do select that sound, that Stratic, uh, that Telecaster-ish sound, right, the outer pickups, they would make noise because plus, plus, minus, and minus, okay? So we went from, from this, where in between sounds were noisy to this where in between sounds are noise free but the pickups by themselves still hum now this is the brian may wiring i don't care what andrew guyton builds i don't care what brian may's book says surprisingly to me i find it really difficult to understand why such a mistake would be printed but this is uh, Brian May's guitar. The pickup that has the magnet flipped and the coil reversed is the bridge one. Why? Because, as you just heard Brian May speak, these pickups in phase, the bridge and the middle, hum buck. There's no noise because minus plus, plus minus, they cancel each other out. Okay? The Bohemian Rhapsody are these pickups and uh, one of them is flipped, doesn't matter, this one or that one, you reverse the switch. When you reverse the switch, you basically go crisscross. So ordinarily, middle and neck would make noise, because plus, plus, minus, minus, noise, right? When you flick one of them out of phase, it goes to plus, minus, minus, plus, no noise, okay? There you go, hopefully that's clear. Thanks. Oh, and just think about it. Why would a guy who now has a PhD in astrophysics, why would a guy build a guitar where two of the main sounds that he uses, right? One of them 
is so noisy. It doesn't make any sense. Just think about it. 